Hi, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, but uh, uh, we uh, suddenly have a little gap in the program, so I thought I'd do an orthographic sketch using Sketchbook Pro today and the Symmetry tool. Uh, it's a relatively quick sketch, so it's not a high-end rendering, and it's a bit of an experiment with a little uh, robot figure or spacesuit figure, which uh, I just thought I'd fool around with or that I knocked out last night. Overall time was about oh, a little over half an hour, so it's been sped up a fair bit. I'll just shut that beeping up. And we're using the symmetry tool here and a little custom brush which I've made just for quick sketching that varies uh, its width a little bit with uh, the, uh, the pressure of the hand. Okay. Nice advantage for doing orthographics using the symmetry tool. And you can see once we've got the basic form in place, it just gives us a nice little structure that we can get the detail worked over. And we're just trying to get a good tonal range on the key line sketch. That's the, the black and white sketch to give us some idea of uh, how the whole thing's going together. A little bit of texture, some shading on the eyes, just to, uh, to give it some depth behind the... the uh, the face plate there. Once the key line's done, we just progressively build up the detail till we get something which is an interesting form. And remember to switch the uh, the symmetry tool off when you need to to give a little bit of interest, so not everything's perfectly symmetrical. Symmetrical. Switch the key line off to get the shaded face of the object and to get details that are going to break up that order every so often just so there's a sense of variation across the surface. I'm going to rub a little bit back in order to bring out the lit face. A good thing about Sketchbook Pro, uh, it's different from Photoshop in, its, in terms of its functionality but it's a very sort of intuitive sort of program and it, it's quite quick to work with and if you save the file as a PSD file you can build up that image in Photoshop afterwards if you decide to lift that concept up but because of the, the what bas basically is the flow of the uh, the stylus for some reason on Sketchbook Pro, it just seems to be a quicker and, and smoother application. It just feel, feels more natural for concept sketching. Okay, we've dropped in a little bit of a red background here just to give it some sort of uh, spacey, burnt, sort of volcanic, sort of hot feel. And then we've selected the rest of the tonal values off that basic hue, so we've got a monochromatic color scheme. Again, just as we did with the black and white stage, we're trying to build up some sense of tonal value. It doesn't matter if we lose some of the detail here and there, as long as we get that strong sense of light and shade, which gives us that three-dimensional effect, even though we're working on an orthographic flat view. Dark tones in behind the face plate, and we've dropped that on a separate layer. So you can see we've got a key line layer, that's the black and white layer we did originally, a tonal layer, and then the back plate, which is the, uh, that red tone you can see at the back there. Once we've laid in the, the shadowed surfaces, we've put in a drop shadow and some highlights on the lit face of the object. Add a little bit of texture using a, a texture tool. Just add dirt and grunge and, and some glows using the airbrush tool on the top. Just to give it a little bit more vibrancy, we've washed in some analogous colours, a little bit of yellow to give it some warmth to create that reflection on the top of the, the face visor and similarly just more loose reflections on the lit side of uh, the spacesuit. And dropped in a background. As easy as that. So relatively quick to do those orthographic sketches. Okay, good luck everybody.